It's pretty, but I'm way over it. Passed over it. Truck won't start. Diesel. Diesel sludge. <laughs> oh, there's my honey. We're gonna go to Walmart. Hopefully there's something to buy there. Oh, look at all the snow we got on top of the other snow. cook stove. They don't have any electricity or any water. So they'll have a means to cook something. We have people giving away firewood. People that do have water letting you come over and take showers. Tell you the... There ain't nothing to buy. Diesel. Got a diesel too? Yeah. It's just the memory foam. Yeah, it's frozen. It's weird. Hard as a rock. Okay, that's what you should do. There you go. An overseas emergency called the Combined Water and Power Outage a Nightmare. We're having to keep our refrigerator food out there in the cooler. Shut it. Maybe you want him to latch it. Uh uh, I would crack it open. Okay. CC crap crack it open. Yeah, I know. I guess so the cold air can get in there. Yep. <laughs> Pretty bad when the refrigerator isn't cold anymore. Our twenty minutes isn't working. Our freezers are okay, though. Lord. Yeah, it's day three. We uh, did go to Walmart. Chris and I were into Walmart. And there's not a lot to buy, but we did get a few things. Uh, electricity's on. And for some reason, they're giving us more than 20 minutes today, uh, the last couple of times. It's been on for 46 minutes. And so we run and we turn on the little heaters. I turn on my little toaster oven, open the door. I'll show you a little toaster oven that I always cook some me things in. Oh, for some reason, it's not on. I turn that on and it gives out pretty much heat. Uh, Chris is outside. With Caleb and they're splitting wood. I don't know if you can see them through there. Uh, propane man still hasn't showed up. The roads are pretty crazy out there. Uh, let's see. Not really anything else to update. 
we, um, my brother, to keep his house warm, he hasn't had electricity since Sunday, so three days. He um, has one of those patio things, like uh, patio warmers. You, you see them at restaurants and stuff, or um, it's just a big round, you can sit under it or whatever. He has one of those in his living room. I know somebody else that has a barrel, a barren barrel in their living room. Um, but we took a guy up the road. He hasn't had, it's crazy. We, we can get electricity for like 20 minutes at a time, but our neighbor, my neighbor can't. So we took him a little cook stove earlier and in the middle of his living room, he has a, um, little cooker thing that like you would cook. Uh, fried turkey or something at Thanksgiving. That's what they're using in their living room for the last three days. Uh, by this weekend, I think it's supposed to be in the 50s and start wear, warming up. So hopefully, amazing neighbors, amazing. It just makes you, breaks your heart really, which makes you want to cry. There was a guy, for some reason I could get on Facebook when I was at my Walmart and I can get on Facebook in the middle of the night, but during the day, I can't see anything. I haven't been able to watch any of y'all's videos. I, I see the title, so I know I get the gist of something, th things that are going on with y'all, but I can't watch them. I, for, we don't have the data. We, we just can't pull it up. But um, the amazing people that live around here, there was one lady, she said, hey, I have water, and if y'all, anybody, she just open this up to the public, to the community. If y'all need a shower, come on. I'll open it up. And another guy, he goes, I've got a splitter and been, been splitting wood all day for people that just need wood. Come by and get you some. That's just, I love it when the community pulls together. We've been checking on each other, giving water. We gave water to another neighbor. They haven't been able to flush their toilets in two days. But, some people put snow in their bathtubs and letting the bath letting it defrost so they can flush their toilets. But all in all, we're good. The house is pretty warm, and uh, we're making it. 